сталкиваетесь из взаимодействия с российской властью. Или этих проблем нет, все решается очень хорошо, гладко, прямо как в Евросоюзе. Okay. Thank you very much for the, for the introduction. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a little bit surprised because I'm only here for the second time. I don't know how often this Congress is, but uh, I'm here for the second time. And I'm happy to be here in order to uh, discuss the issues of, of lobbying, uh, since lobbying is certainly the core business of our association here in the Russian Federation with regards to business interests of uh, mostly European companies who have invested here in Russia in the past uh, few decades. Uh, it's a little bit of a pity because perhaps I should have listened to uh, the other guest speaker about the Croatian uh, case, uh, then I would have also perhaps had answers uh, to uh, his intervention, but perhaps I can then take the floor for a second time. Okay, um, as I understand it, um, you are discussing as a main topic the question of uh, self-regulation and uh, or regulation of lobbying uh, here in Russia uh, as one of the main topics, at least this is what has been conveyed to me uh, as the topic of the day. Uh, we understand that, uh, for example, the, the Ministry of um, Economic Development has approached us, has approached uh, presumably also other parties, uh, to comment on the question of uh, um, the regulation of lobbying here in Russia. Um, now, I understand certainly that uh, Christian de Fulwa will, will perhaps understand this, that, let's say, different things are differently in different contexts. So, I mean, I understand that there is a certain regulation on lobbying in the European Union, and I think it's, it's correct to have this lobbying in the European Union uh, regulated to a certain degree. But it's a very light regulation as far as I understand it, and as I understand it, your, your association is participating in, let's say, discussion with the European Commission and other institutions how to uh, have this light regulation uh, being practiced. <coughs> but here in Russia, I have to say, I'm basically against a regulation of lobbying. Because, in order to say very clearly, Russia is a, is a country where mainly you have lots of regulations. And I think it's better for transparency, for uh, flexibility, for, let's say, the free competition also between those who are, uh, let's say, expressing interests of different parties, not to have a regulation. Because the regulation here in Russia has a tendency to favor certain parties. And this is, I think, not good. I think there should be one basic regulation, which is, let's say, the exclusion of uh, corruption, which seems to be a pretty big problem anyway already here in Russia. And let's say the use or rather abuse of money in lobbying, uh, because I think it's uh, mainly the, 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 the free competition between arguments and interests which should uh, be the decisive moment, not money. Because uh, certainly if you're competing uh, with regards to lobbying and pressing through your own interests in terms of paying money, the others will also answer with paying money and then you pay and pay and pay and then in the end um, the result might not be very favorable for the development of a, um, let's say, civil society, of an economy, etc. So I saw that request from the Ministry of Economic Development, I have to say I'm in favor of having as few regulations as possible in lobbying here in Russia. Uh, I understand so that the context is a different one than in the European Union, but since regulation here in Russia has a tendency to be heavy, I think uh, this is something which is not going to be helpful neither for us as a business association nor for you as uh, GR representatives of individual companies. Uh, because it will create, in the end, a non-even playing field which will give access to certain players and uh, main, uh, less success for other players. So now, perhaps I'll just say two words about um, one or two, let's say, legislative processes here in Russia which we are um, involved in and which I think are of major importance, especially, let's say, on the background of the WTO accession uh, of Russia, and uh, which also show from my point of view a little bit that uh, there is a tendency here in Russia um, to regulate things, but to regulate it not along the mainstream of um, the international uh, development, but to have, let's say, a specific Russian solution. 
And this, from my point of view, creates problems for the Russian economy, for the Russian society itself. First, there is a, a very long discussion already now, it goes on for two years or even longer, of the prohibition of uh, uh, outstaffing, outsourcing, agency labor, secondment. Um, this is a process which is very interesting because uh, from the side of the trade unions, which is understandable, it's a legitimate position as well, there is the demand to uh, prohibit outstaffing. Uh, but in the end, if you look at this, for example, German trade unions or trade unions in the European Union, I've participated in several discussions on this, would rather go for a regulation of outstaffing. Again, a light regulation of outstaffing, outsourcing agency labor, in order to, let's say, make this instrument viable for industry in order to answer to certain, let's say, bottlenecks in the business cycle. And this is what we have seen in the European Union, for example. But here in Russia, obviously, there are very big interests to, let's say, go into a different direction. But this different direction is completely going counter to, let's say, experience in most of the developed countries. And it's interesting that Russia enters WTO, thereby certainly also going into the direction of the international mainstream, but for example, in this case, is trying to uh, establish a practice which is going counter to the international experience. Another big thing, from my own point of view, I think it's, it's not a very nice topic, but it's a very important topic, it's waste management. We see also for more than a year now in the Russian government, in the Russian uh, parliament, in the press, in society, a discussion about how to establish a modern recycling system. And here you can see uh, that very, let's say, essential interests are being uh, pushed through the uh, political channels because we see that there is a move towards uh, having a heavy regulation again uh, in favor of a new recycling system, which means that there will be a, a kind of tax being established for, um, let's say, waste management, that there shall be a, a big national fund being established, which is fueled by this tax, uh, and that this fund is going to be managed, uh, let's say, in the interest of those who have uh, or should develop the technology and the basis, the technological basis for the recycling here in Russia. From our point of view, this is again going against the international experience. There's a Russian solution here, which from our point of view is not helpful, because it's, it's favoring specific business interests and is going, in principle, against the majority of business and economic interests and even interests of the society here in Russia. Because such a system should not be as expensive and money-making as possible for those who are operators in this scrappage or recycling area, but it should certainly be helpful in order to have a rational way of dealing with waste. And this is only possible if there are, for example, the manufacturers uh, are part of the system who are controlling this. It uh, has to be as few money as possible in order to keep it economical. But here in Russia, you have a discussion now which goes from our point of view into a wrong direction. And sorry for this, perhaps I should have been a little bit more theoretical, but I'm not a, a political scientist. Uh, I'm happy not to be a political scientist. I'm a historian by education, and historian seems to be a little, little bit more uh, practical and concrete than political scientists. I hope I don't insult the majority of the people here in the room who might be political scientists. But I think these two examples of outsourcing, outstaffing, agency work, uh, agency labor, and of waste management, uh, which are current discussions going on here in Russia, are a very good example for how uh, discussions are, from my point of view, not going in the right direction, because it will lead again <coughs> to Russia having a regulation in place, a heavy regulation in place, which will go counter to the international mainstream. And I think, therefore, sometimes it's helpful to look outside of Russia to understand that Russia is part of WTO and many other international organizations. They should be part of the international mainstream rather than looking always for an individual Russian uh, solution for everything. And uh, insofar, I'm, uh, let's say, also to come back to the beginning of the discussion, I'm also rather in favor of not having a regulation for lobbying because it will again lead to something which is very specifically Russian. And I think Russia needs light regulation, not heavy regulation.
Знали, я понял, Франк, что вы так очень вежливо, дипломатично выступаете против возможного принятия закона о лоббизме в России, который сейчас обсуждается, в декабре месяце там планируется его дать на рассмотрение президенту. I think it's, it's going to be overregulated, and this overregulation is going to lead to uh, less flexibility, less ability really to discuss things in a proper manner, and it will rather favor certain uh, players and, let's say, prevent participation of other players. It's not going to create an even playing field. Европейскую бизнес себя очень хорошо э, чувствует в течение последних пяти лет, с тех пор, как вы задаете на просторах э, на России, и никаких проблем с лоббированием интересов своих членов она не испытывает. Правильно такое было? Да. Да, конечно, я Окей, okay. и в порядке статистики, Франк, так как вы второй раз принимаете участие в Конгрессе, а их всего было четыре, поэтому в половине, в половине мероприятий Конгресса уже приняли участие, то, что вот реплика изначально, чтобы часто гости нам полностью оправдываться.